Hey guys, and welcome to a new scenario. And we're gonna play Vista View from Aaron Talkwell. And this one I wanted to play actually before Rap Planet uh, from Cheekism, but I thought, ah, no, okay, let's try Cheekism first. And then, uh, well, y you can see that one still on my channel, of course. But this one, Vista View, is such a beautiful scenario and I really can't just build in this park like, oh, well, just place an, an, a boring shop over here, place a boring shop over there and then just not decorate it. So this is going to be a longer scenario. Um, uh, because of I want to decorate it a little bit more it might not be the same as I do in my speed build videos but that really just depends how it goes with the money and that kind of stuff so it it's we're just gonna see but this is all gonna be a live build at least that is the plan <laughs> and um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to play this so first of all before we start it's probably smart to tell you a little bit more about the background of this scenario so let me just grab steam real quick um so aaron says feast of you started life uh, life as a beautiful park on a hill. The lake at the bottom of the hill is the result of years of flooding. The previous owners installed a railway to get to the top of the hill where you will find the Vista Cafe. The beauty of the park makes this a very popular area for visitors, attracting them in large numbers. But they want they want more than the railway. The owners didn't have the relationship with the right suppliers or the money to expand. The park is popular but doesn't generate much income. You have now established connections with some ride suppliers. You just need to pay to, pay to sign the contracts. You have plenty of money to keep you going, but you are also gaining the expenses of the current park, so act quickly. Will you turn this vista view into a coaster corner, thrill hill, or develop it as a beautiful space it is? The land behind is yours too, so go ahead. You may also want the image pack, which contains the park map and queue time board at and then a zip file comes through. I will link this scenario uh, in the description, of course, so you guys can also play it if you want to, of course. And uh, let me just show you, because this is one of these images I got. It looks so nice. This park looks absolutely stunning, I, I have to say. Like, this is really inspiring as well. It's really well done. And you have like that road over here. And then over here you have the spawning points. And they go all the way. Well, this is not a spawning point, but this is just a beautiful parking lot. Uh, it's so well done. So really, really uh, great job, Erin. Absolutely. I don't know if you're watching, but if you do, <laughs> really well done. And then we go into the park. And over here... You can see the train station, which is totally beautiful. I really, really like that. And over here we got some shops, which we look into later on. But just to show you, this is the queue time uh, image. It looks super awesome. Feast of you queue times. Well, it's not going to update, of course, but oh, it will be so awesome to have that. So here goes the real world track with another amazing crossing. This looks absolutely beautiful. And then we go to the other side of the mountain. Let me just zoom out for a bit first. So over here you got that hill. And then over here you got that cafe, the Vista Cafe, which looks really nice as well. And we also got some shops over here. And of course, picnic benches. This is really the nice way to put it down. I, I always just end up with those ones and then put them all in a straight line or something. But I totally love the way how he did put down these picnic benches. So that's really nice. Over here, we still have the, we again have the queue times and a park map. And over here is another station. So what I'm actually thinking is to, um, okay, let me just show you the objectives because this is a little bit more easy in a way that the objectives don't have 
um, an ending date. So the easy one is reach a monthly profit of 5,000 and attract 1,800 guests. And you have the time you need to achieve that, uh, the easy, um, easy goal. And a medium is build 10 rides, achieve a park rating of 1,850. We now have 680. And then hard is build 10 coasters. Now that is going to be my struggle but we're not there yet <laughs> so i just start with some flat rides and maybe one or two coasters and then we just see how we go we now have twenty five thousand um uh in our pocket to spend so i'm just really curious how this will go uh regarding to the earnings and that kind of stuff it's going to be really challenging and also i did read something in the comments um that uh, Aaron changed something uh, for the guests so they need to achieve a hundred percent guest satisfaction it is super hard and uh, he gave us some tips like you really need a lot of entertainers entertainers food shops and rides with good throughput so it is uh, quite difficult uh, to gain a hundred percent happy guests, but that is also a nice, real, uh, really nice challenge to have next to these objectives. So yeah, I think we just need this. Oh, let, let me just show you this. Like this is so beautiful as well. I really like this. Like that real boat going over the water, and then you have a cafe over here, which is super nice as well. Really, really well done. I, it's so inspiring to see this park and then just to see how other people create this. These are, these are toilets also very awesome. It's simple, but it's so well done with those beams over here and, and poles. And uh, I really, really can't wait to start building in this park. And as I said, I don't even want to. Um, building this park like okay here's a shop here's another shop and here we place ride we should decorate it a little bit more so maybe we end up placing some flat rides first without decoration and then when we have some more money then we can start decorating them a little bit more and it, it really i can't tell you how it will go because it all depends on the money we have and how the guests will respond but i'm super excited to do this i'm gonna because there are lots of trees and stuff and i have it on the highest quality but i'm i just feel like i want to put it on medium for now when we go and start playing because oh you see the difference no <laughs> it's okay you get used to it you get used to it i even build it in parks with like um on the lowest graphic and you get used to that as well with my old computer uh, that was uh, look at this look at uh, it's so simple but then again it's so beautiful with those flags and oh, this is so inspiring okay so i got the game on pause so uh because i was afraid like okay i don't want anything to happen when we just go through the park so let's just depause and oh look at that it's not even an image it's a video how cool is that we don't have go cards no <laughs> oh wait that is just a frontier video isn't it is it i don't know is that oh it's the music of the video as well oh this is awesome guys is that other one also then changing? Okay, no, this is the park map. And where did we have... Oh no, that one isn't changing. Oh, that would be so cool when you have like a video over here when the minutes just change. That is such an amazing idea to make in a realistic park. Okay, let's see. Um, we have... What kind of staff do we have right now? Okay, so we got... Okay, let's just go like this. We have two King Coasters. And that one is surrounded by the Vista Cafe. And uh, we got four janitors. No one is trained by now. I'm curious if we have a staff room. We'll get there in a minute. Okay, so we got a lot of vendors and all the vendors. Okay, we got free roaming vendors as well. 
I think we need to open all the shops soon as possible. Uh, we got one mechanic, but that makes sense because we only have one ride and we have two security guards and entrance area, two staff members. Which are those? I can't see that, right? I don't know. Is that King Coaster? Um, okay, we got two staff rooms all in the capacity of 10 already, so that's good. And they already have a social club. I'm really curious where these are. So one is probably over here. Is that a staff room? Oh, it looks like it, these are toilets, but you have toilets on the one side and a staff room on the other side. Oh, that's super cool. Okay, and then the other one is... Over here, okay, you got the same building over here with a staff room. Ah, oh, that's so smart. Okay, guys, let's do this. Let's just open the park and open our shops. Since we have the vendors, it will only cost us money. Uh, do we have a ticket price yet? No, let's just make it three and two or something. I don't... No, we don't have a pri priority entrance right now, but I think because we have a real world over here, uh, a station over here, and if we want them to use this one, okay, let's just open the shops. Um, unstaffed, unstaffed, unstaffed. They are all unstaffed, but we do have vendors, right? So they probably go there right now. Let's just wait and see. Okay. Open the toilet blocks and let's make them 10 cents everywhere. And we have only the train ride. So in order uh, to make sure they will use this train station, I think we should be smart and start building on the other side of the hill so we get at least some money out of that train station because they will use it as transport and well some will choose to go and walk the whole way but it's super fun if we make sure that the people will use this ride and also to get back this side so um what is your entrance it's two dollars make it three maybe and do we need to change it at the other station as well station number 10 okay so per station you need to set the ticket price i didn't even knew that okay the vendors are going to their places so i think we should just do we have space we do have some space to build over here and Behind the hill was also space for us, I am, if I'm right. Can we see the border of the map? Somewhere, is that the border? Ooh, what am I doing? Okay, I see a line over here, I think. I think that is the border, isn't it? Can we just check it? Um, just have a tree. No, it's not. Oh, the border is way up here. Oh, that's super nice. Okay. Oh, so we do have like a huge map. It didn't really look like that, but it's... Oh, oh this is going to be so much fun, guys. Okay. Our first ride. How are our rides doing? How many rides do we have? Oh, we have all of them, I think. And do we have all the coasters? No, we don't. But maybe we can... Do we have all the shops? Let's see. No, not all. No. So there is still room to... Whoa. Okay. So there is still... <gasps> Do they don't like the ticket price and leave already? I'm not really sure if they do, but... Okay, let's, let's make it free for now and change it as soon as we have some rides. What are they thinking? Can't believe they're trying to charge that much for a standard ticket. Okay. Oh really a bad bad move already okay let's see let's place a ride over here and i have no idea what kind of um guests we are attracting right now okay so let's just go for rides 
and I really would love to place the big wheel because I just think that it's a nice view maybe from there I don't know it's really small wheel though okay let's just go for um, which ride which ride turbo plane I don't really place that one that one myself much but I really love that ride Okay, so let's just place you... Um, do we need some more space? No, let's just place you over here. And... Okay, let's do it like... Dead. And then place the entrance right over here. Mm. Let's just place you over here. And as I said, we will do some decorating later on. But we first need to make sure that we are earning some money. Because else I can spend like so many thousands of, of dollars in this game. But it's not going to help us achieve those goals if we spend too much. Okay, let's just go for wooden. And let's angle snap you. Um, let's go back and then connect the other, wait, which one is it? Is it this path? No, it's not. It's this one. Yeah. Okay. And let's place you straight to here. And then we're going to place the queue line. Are we... I think I will. It looks a little bit weird, but still, I like I like how it turns out over here. Okay, so let's just open the ride and let's just see if people will go this way to use that ride. I'm gonna place another ride over here. I think. How is your scenery? Seventy-seven percent right now. Okay, let's just place another ride because we do need some income to work from um maybe the cake flip that could work and we can also decide to to rechange it uh to replace them later on if we decide to go for some scenery then we just pause the game and then we just close the ride for a bit and then we can decorate it um okay let's place you like that no wait i want the entrance on this side and the exit on that side if we can there we go and then put you straight and then connect you to the exit Uh, okay, like that. And then connect you. Can we connect you? Oh no! Okay, not possible. Um, okay, like that. It's a very short one. Maybe we can... We should expand it a little bit to the outside. Okay, let's just... Go like that. And then, can we connect you now? Okay, like this. So we do have a little bit more space and let's delete those shrubs. Okay, and then open the park. Are people using the railroad? I'm super curious if they do. Let's see. Monthly guest, 170. Lifetime guest, 170. But I don't see anyone walking. Okay, so maybe this park was already open while she built it. Or he built it, the scenario, I mean. Oh, look. Oh, great. It's super busy here. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, this is station 15. Let's put it up a little bit. Is a really good value. 
and the other station open 10 350 as well and hopefully this this side will also be filled later on when the park is open for a longer time we have uh, 1468 guests right now and as he mentioned okay now we have two rides so let's make it three and two i think that would be fine um okay it, it, it takes some time for them to go to these rides of course because it's a lot of space over here um i can kind of worried because maybe we should have get another train in oh wait how many trains do we have uh three trains hmm we could have maybe okay just speed it up a little bit i have no idea okay maybe also set it to load okay um any load full load at least from this station on he should have a full load when he goes to the other station i think that is the smartest thing to do okay let's take a look at our staff one more time um because we do need to train them very soon to get some more profit out of them okay people are using this one as well that is awesome how do you think of the total value is a really good value and i want to go on kickflip okay not really people that are complaining so let's just place another ride and i think um i think i will i want to research some stuff as well <gasps> so many <laughs> okay um so many rides so many things <gasps> a thrill ride well let's just research some i don't know staff members can find a staff building with space increase capacity build more or ensure all staff can reach a staff building how many we do i it's a pity because i really would like to see how much staff i have just a number so i know like oh yeah i need so many staff rooms but it's just i don't think we can so hopefully they will put that in the game later on that will be so much easier to use the staff buildings and to know how many staff buildings you need to place um okay people are not really using these shops right now do they have i do want to do something fun want to do something fun yeah priority passes are for suckers i don't really feel like we need that shop right now and Looney Bloons. I want to do something fun. Let me just check this because I do like it when people just have red, orange, green, yellow. And let's just unclick those. I like that. Um, okay, so we do need another staff room. And I'm kind of feeling that we should make one maybe just over here. Or is that too far away? Hmm. We do have shops over here shops over there and that might be just enough for that staff room i guess think i item the toilet are great value well thank you okay let's see over here um we have one staff room over here can we just copy that whole building i think we can <laughs> I have no idea what it will cost. Um, placing it on that side is probably not very smart. Um, where shall we place one? I am not so sure what will be smart because there is one over here, there is one over there. We have 20 people, uh, 20 space. Can we just temporarily make it over here then? I don't think it's flat enough. Okay, let's just place you right over here and then just lower the terrain a little bit over here. Hopefully it's not costing us any money, Do does it? Do I gain money? 
no. You hear a money sound, but I don't know what that is, to be honest. Uh, which one? Okay, and then delete some of the bushes and then just place you here. Maybe it's just temporary, but... Um, and connect you like that. And then... Connect it first round. And... Hmm. Okay, they will walk a little bit through, but we can place the barriers later on to make sure they won't. But at least we do have another staff room right now. Does it do... Oh, it does duplicate also the capacity, so that's really awesome. And then we also have some more toilets on that side. Okay, multiple shops do not have a vendor. And is that... That is probably just because they are in the staff room. Yeah, because we have six, 12 people in total. Um, shall we just hire... Let's just hire two more of the vendors so they can switch the people off which are in a shop right now. Or are in the staff room right now. Okay, this is super full right now and it's also really busy at this path. So maybe just, oh, this is so ugly for now, but it really helps for the, uh, a little bit at least. I use more space right now. Okay, let's just place another ride and get into the research a little bit more because I feel like we do need some more. Monsieur Frit, I like Monsieur Frit. And... Another, let's go for a family ride. Family fun on the high seas. That's probably the whirly rig. An eccentric classic. Is that... No, we have the carousel. Hmm, which one should that be? Uh, an incredible view. I think that is... Ah, that could be be a higher wheel right a bigger wheel so let's go for that one right now and i think we really should build some more rides right now over here and i, I really feel like i want to place two rides in this area still okay let's place an entrance Um, wait, do we need to rotate it a little bit? Okay, like that. Place an entrance. And I think we go around. And then place the exit right over here. And then we can connect you. Angle snap. Uh... Yes, and then a pathway. You will go. Where are you going? Can we make a cross, more of a cross over here? That's a super weird crossing, but it's okay. It's working. Okay, connect to a path. And connect you like that. And then we can open you. And you don't have that much scenery around. So for now, I might decide just to build some trees around you. Mm. Okay, let's see. What kind of trees? They did use... Aaron did use everything... Just to make it more nature-ish, a little bit more trees, and let's just build an oak, oak tree. 
Now I'm super curious if it's not gonna interfere with the train. No, it's gonna be perfect. Okay, is this... Okay, 34. That is not that much changing, but I just placed a few of the trees, so we might just place another and another and another just to make it a little bit more pretty. I'm not really sure if trees will do the trick that much. I don't think it will. <laughs> but it just looks so much better when you just have some trees around. And I really can't wait to really start building some nice queue lines and that kind of stuff. It's going to be super much fun. Forty six, and you have fifty seven, and you have eighty two. So there is really a lot of work to be done. Let's just place some fences, maybe. Yes, I know they have a long queue line, queue time. Let's just put you on full load, full load, and full load, and no minimum waiting time. Awesome. Okay, so let's place some. What kind? I like these, but it's gonna cost me a lot of money, I think. We better just go for the normal fences right now. Mm. I think these will fit. What does it do you cost? Also five. Okay, so better take the longer ones instead. I didn't know they had the same they cause the same no we can't place it yet over here oh gosh we need to make a bigger path okay let's just work on that right right now okay so let's just make it a seven And connect you. Can we connect you like that? It's super ugly. Um, okay, and then place the queue line again. Okay, it's seriously not the best thing right now, but we're gonna redo it. But as you can see, my my profit is really going or my my money in my pocket is really going down right now so we just really need to start first with earning some money before we can do some detailing because it just always it's all costing us so much money already average gas happiness is declined end of the monthly profit okay so i'm not really gaining money right now but that makes total sense because i'm just starting to place a lot of rights <laughs> Okay, but we do have 1800 guests already, so that is really nice. So now we only need a monthly profit of 5000. Gonna be a challenge, guys. Gonna be a real challenge. But it's such an amazing park, so I can't wait to start really decorating this. And we just go and decorate that ride, and then we go and decorate that ride, and place them down a little bit better later on all in pause mode so we don't really lose that much well we do lose a lot of money when you play in pause mode but we just have to wait and see thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this first episode of vista view uh, i am having a lot of fun with this uh, scenario if you want to check it out yourself uh, the link is in the description Leave a like at the video, it really helps the channel. And subscribe, of course, if you already haven't. And I really just hope to see you in the next one. Thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.